There's so many delicious things in the Allium family. You got onions of every kind, green onions, chives, garlic, and leeks. How many times does this get bypassed in the grocery store? It's got the lightest onion flavor, but when you char it, it gets soft and it gets really sweet. And it's like a green onion, but it's a little different. You can eat all of the green parts, but on the leek, they're kind of bitter. So I like to cut them off. And then the butt part of it, that's really cool because it holds the leek together. So just take a little bit of it off and then it'll stay really nice and sturdy for the grill. And that's all you need to do to get that thing ready for a nice char. Let's do it. I like to pat them dry just a little bit before I put them onto the grill, and the seasonings are dead simple. And I just wanna highlight the natural flavor of it. So a good shot of olive oil and salt and pepper, that's it. The salt is gonna highlight the natural flavor of the leek, and it helps kind of break it down when it's on the grill so it gets really nice and soft. And with this, I'm gonna make a really cool sauce called a romesco sauce. And I'm gonna char some peppers, some tomatoes, and then to go with it all, a little bit of charred bread. And again, that's super simple. This is a dry bread. So just a little shot of oil, get it ready for the grill, couple crystals of salt, and boom, we're ready to char, baby. I'll see you at the grill. Woohoo! So when I grill veg, it's all about putting the things on that take the longest and then finishing with the leeks and the tomatoes because they take the least amount of time. And here's a good tip for the peppers. You want a nice char on it. Put it on a hot grill and you want the outsides to get really nice and black and charred. And then you can take that chard off and you're left with the most beautiful soft peppers. So get some nice color on the peppers and then leeks and tomatoes. This is gonna be good. All right, check this veg out. I love the red peppers when you char them. The skins just kind of jump off the flesh. And I love the leeks too. They cook really nicely. They get a nice char, but they turn soft and green and they're super delicate. And it brings the onion flavor down and it's just at a gnarly onion charred hum. The romesco sauce is dead easy, and if you've never made one before, they're delicious. You can put them on anything. Sometimes I put it in my hair. So I like to start with everything and then finish with the oil. So in with the tomatoes and the peppers. And I use a food processor because it makes me way better than I am, and it'll demolish all of that good stuff. It's all about the allium, so roasted garlic and a little bit of chilies because I like when the sauce has a bit of kick to it. So get the garlic in there. And this sauce is great because it has a little brightness to it. Some fragrant lemon peel is just perfect. It's really nice and bright. Fennel seeds, it's got like that little licorice kick that I love. And classically in Romesco, there's nuts. And nuts give a really nice texture to the sauce. You can use, honestly, whatever you have lying around. I'm using hazelnuts and almonds. I like to sweeten it up with just a nice shot of honey. And then for some really big punch, some red vinegar, salt, pepper, give it a buzz, add some oil, and you're off to the races. Woohoo! It's working! It's working! Let me know if you're ready to get dollars out of we wildin' out. If you want it ready, steady go. Fight the good fight because this is war. Uh -huh. It looks so good. You have to have a little taste test. You can't do all that hard work. Look at the texture of that. It's the nuts and finishing with oil that gives it a little bit of crunch and makes the rest of it silky. 
It's so good. Immediately you taste fire roasted pepper, roasted garlic, a little bit of chilies. It's like a roller coaster. And it's really good on anything, fish, meats, and especially veg. You get a little bit of hit on that, on some crusty bread, you're laughing. Super simple, super delicious. It highlights the leek. It's easy to make, and it's rad. Crusty bread, a little bit of leek, and then a good shot of the romesco. That might be the bite of the day. I'm in love with the flavor of leeks. It gets sweet, there's still a bit of crunch to it, and the romesco with the garlic and the chilies, that is a winning dish.